Hello there. I am Phil. I am adjusting my camera at the moment so we can all see what I'm about to be building here, which is Lego Ninjago City. I am, as I mentioned, Phil. You may know me from the Player One podcast where I talk about video games every week. You may also know me from the Points of Articulation podcast, where my friend Justin and I talk about toys, usually Transformers, and certainly Lego. Uh, I have been building the fantastic new Lego Ninjago City set over the past several streams. A little over halfway done with it right now. We are on the second floor. We are well into the second of three three instruction uh, manuals for this set and as you can see we are currently on the 10th set there are two bag number 10s uh, 16 numbers total uh, 16 sets of bags total so it's late in the evening my time so let's not waste any time we'll dive right in I'm gonna move, this is the second story. I'm gonna move this out of the way right now, just to get a little more building room here. I have my sticker sheets. You can see I used quite a bit of them so far. We are running low on those, which is good because I despise stickers on Lego sets. And let's get these bags ripped open. Already, I see a green surfboard. We'll see what that gets used for. Ooh, and I'm already seeing minifigure parts. I'm going to pull these aside. Found the torso and the short legs there. Ooh, here is a head. Ooh, and here is a hairpiece. And one more bag of tiny pieces. There we go. These are all laid out here. Uh, already I'm seeing some interesting pieces. We got a little hat here, which I know for a fact is not used for the minifigure here. A uh, whole mess of translucent, orangish red minifigure heads right there. Uh, these were used, ah, and one fell on the floor. These were used earlier in the build to make uh, a lantern, or a couple lanterns, so I'm assuming that we'll be making more hanging lanterns uh, on the second story here. And, um, oh, what else did I see? I saw these new clip pieces here. May not be able to see. These are the uh, clip pieces that a minifigure can hold with a little stud coming out here. Um, I've seen these used for uh, like a Spider-Man minifigure where you can attach a, a web so it looks like he's shooting a web out. Uh, here I've attached a, a little wrench so you can kind of get that same illusion there. I did see when I was pouring out the bag, oh, we got a, a little yellow frog piece here. Probably will be used as some sort of accent uh, device here. A uh, little piece of decor. Also, I am seeing, I have not seen these before as far as I remember. These have the little uh, neck clip there to go on around a minifigure's neck, but they're little uh, jetpacks, which are awesome. I don't believe I've ever seen these uh, on a minifigure before, but uh, there's a couple of them here, which again, I, I'm guessing we're not going to be building... Uh, jet packs for our characters in Ninjago City, so they're probably going to be used as decoration or something, so 
I'm curious to see how those are getting going to be used. In the meantime, let's start up here. I'm building the little uh, boy character here. Uh, he has a mm, sad face that you can't see because of the lighting. He also has a happy face. Uh, I'm going to give him the happy face and get his tousled hair on top there. Uh, the instructions do not show him holding any accessories. Uh, you get a better look at him uh, later towards the end of the build when we get out of the harsh lighting. Let's see. Read the bio in the front of the instruction uh, manual here to see who we just built. We built Tommy. Tommy is the biggest fan of the Green Ninja anywhere. So he, uh, oh, when he is not in school, you can find him drawing Green Ninja comics, writing about the hero on his blog, and uploading Green Ninja memes. So Tommy is a very modern young lad. Never thought that I would see a Lego minifigures referenced as creating memes, but welcome to the year 2017. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Oh, right away, we are finishing off the top of our comic book shop here. We're going to be making the sign that gets attached to the top uh, that actually says comics, spelled out in bricks. So let's uh, get to that. I've been actually very curious about that, uh, just because that seemed like a really interesting build, forming words out of bricks. Uh, I've done that with the uh, detective agency set, uh, one of the mod. It's the one modular building that I own. Um, and it's just a kind of a neat building technique to take the bricks, usually these thin plates and a series of clips and tiles and use them to form uh, blocky letters. So let's see here. Need another one by four tile in black. A piece that should be relatively easy for me to find, but for some reason I'm having some trouble with it right now. Let's see here. No. Is it hiding under another piece? Well, let's see, what else do I need for this particular step? I need a one by one brick in kind of a translucent color here. Why am I having trouble finding that? I need the little frog. I need two gold clips. Oh, here's so I. Uh, translucent purple brick. I found that. I need another gold clip. And where is... Ah, there it is. It was hidden under a tile. Or hidden under another brick. Let's see here. six, the two, the one, and the four, and the two, the one, and the four. 
uh, clearly, again, a little hard to see, we are building stuff for the top shelf, the upper levels of the comic shop. Ooh, I need a blue gem right there. Those little, now where did they go? There they are, the little, little mini grip, minifigure grippy forward pointing pieces and a gold. Ooh, and we have a gold, uh, that is a unikitty horn. Uh, from the Lego movie sets. So let's see here. Some top shelf collectibles for our comic shop. There we go. And that goes there. building more goodies for the top shelf using a coffee mug a little wrench a little one by one cone a translucent green piece let's see in one two three of these okay let's see Two, and let's see here. We are building this mug. sort of building the mug into some sort of like space laser gun or something and that gets plugged into the wall here there we go Oh, and we are already the front of the store here. You can see we have kind of these flat tiles with a couple studs sticking up here. This is where our comic sign is going to be, and we're actually making the S in just a minute here in the S in comics. So let's see here. There we go. So let's see, what do we need here? That, that, this. Ooh, and though the text of the word comics is going to be completely brick built, cheats a little bit. Uh, we have these uh, one by one. I have it on this uh, long piece here, but these little one by one plates in white with uh, a little black dot written on it. So let's see here. Need four of those. Let's see here. And, huh, we only have two of those sides exposed, even though they want us to use four of those bricks. But there you can see in white the letter S. 
and that just gets plugged in right there. And there it is. We are on our way to spelling out comics. Let's see here. Two. That. Couple Technic pieces here. Here's another piece I've not seen before. This is in brown. It's a one by one brick, two bricks high, uh, but it has the stud on top and two studs on just one of the sides. I have not seen that piece before. I don't know if it's new for this set, uh, but we need one of them for this step. And then again, two of those little one by one uh, plate pieces with the printed uh, dot on there. So there's a little bit of cheating involved with making this uh, sign. But that's okay. The results uh, will look cool. Regardless. I got this Technic piece here. I just plugged a pin in with a little printed uh, one by one uh, tile there. Not exactly sure why we needed that. Let's see here. Here we are, forming some more letters. that little printed piece is just to add some flavor to the interior of the comic shop. Just to be something else hanging on the wall, I suppose. Uh, Technic pin. Is this the proper one? Yes, it is. Oh, a... Little circular disc shape. I don't know what this is from. Does this fit on a minifigure head? It does fit on a minifigure head. This is going to be the O in comics, and again, we can't really see it very well here because of my terrible, terrible lighting. But it's like a little crown piece or something that fits on a minifigure head. I don't know if this is a piece that has been previously used in some set that has been uh, repurposed, but it's certainly a clever use. Of a, well, a piece that would normally go on a minifigure's head. Okay, let's see here. There we go. And... Plug 
add on there for the O. There's where we're at right now. Take a peek at the inside there. You can't really, there's the, got Eda Kitty's horn in the way there, the little printed pieces on the wall. Okay. Three of these one by one bricks in black. One of these white tooth pieces, another one of those one by twos, and five of those little one by one pieces with the black markings. Okay, so one of those. getting turned into the C. Oh, I need to make two of those. To form the side of the other C. And that tooth is going to form the M in comics. There we go. Now let's see here, we gotta close off this side of the C. we'll be doing now as soon as I can find one two of those tiles oh. I forgot to put this right there There we go. Comics. A neat little build, even if it does sort of cheat the, the sign is made entirely from bricks gimmick a bit with those printed pieces, but that's okay. At that scale. There's probably no other way to to make a truly brick-built sign. Uh, the sign from the detective agency set was quite a bit uh, large. Well, not quite a bit larger, but certainly larger. Um, it had a series of clips and bars uh, inside that you would connect pieces to. Let's see here. Oops. There we go. And I skipped a step. I was so preoccupied with having 
built that comics sign that I skipped a not terribly interesting step where, I'm, oop, where I just build up the wall a little bit here. There we go. And now I can place this vent and fan on the back. And let's see here. There we go. And there you can see, where's a good lighting angle? There really isn't one. We'll take a closer look at that later on. Let's see here. Oh. More. Vents here. We're going to be adding some pipes to the back of the building. Where... Is this piece I'm looking for? Well, here's this, and I'm gonna need that. Ah, there it is. One of those. There's that. A brown piece. Two of these. Boy, there are a ton. There is a ton of these little gold one by one circular pieces here. Those are going to be used for some sort of accent marks or something later on, no doubt. Probably going to be a pain to put them all in place. Okay. There we go. mug laser gun broke apart it breaks apart very easily why didn't they just use a regular laser gun piece they have regular laser gun pieces I don't know why they didn't just use one of those. Okay. There we go. Okay. There's that. Two of these. Two of these. Two of those. Okay. Oh dear. Another sticker. Another lousy sticker. It's gonna go on that. Three of these and one. Two of those. Okay, so let's see. Get this positioned correctly.
And let's see. Okay, sticker number 43. Oh, hey. And this sticker, which you probably won't be able to see right now because of the lighting, is a reference to the Lego movie. Get it on here. Nice and straight. Ooh. It's late. And I am having trouble lining up a stupid sticker. There we go. There we go. Second here. <laughs> I had a little little tip of my application toothpick came off underneath the sticker. So I had a little bump underneath, but it's all fixed now. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. This is the little Kitten Believe sticker from the uh, the cat poster from the Lego movie. If you remember the it's inspirational Believe cat sticker. That was somewhat relevant to the plot of that movie. And that uh, just becomes a poster that is hanging up in the store. I will, I will hang it in the same jaunty angle they have it displayed in the instruction manual. There we go. Because if the Lego movie taught me anything, it's followed the instructions exactly all the time. So, let's see here. We got these right here. And these pieces right here. Oh, and that is it for the comics sign right now. And they actually show us plugging that in. right on top there. There's our completed comic shop. Again, uh, at the end of this build, I'll bring the camera in and give us a closer look at what we built. Let's move on. We're working with some red pieces now. Ooh. This is another new piece, or at least a piece I have not seen before. It's got a little stick there, a minifigure can hold it. It's got a little sphere at the end. It looks kind of like the minifigure microphone, but it's not the minifigure microphone. It's just a little pole with kind of a ball joint on it. I don't know what set that's from, or if that's a new piece, but... Curious to see how that'll be used. Let's see here. 
for these. Two of, nope, that is a printed one. You don't want that. Two of these. Four of these. One of those. And one of those. Okay. Oh, I need two of those little. There it is. This must be used for ball joints. Here I have some of the little ball joint coupling pieces there. Uh, these were used a lot in the Mixel line, which was a line of little buildable, goofy, cartoonish characters that came, came out, started a couple years ago. You can still find them in stores as of right now. I don't know how much longer they'll be around. They stopped the line. Uh, but they were little $5 figures. So they were nice and cheap, but they were a lot of fun. I actually have, I, I ended up buying all the Mixels uh, just because they're, they were cute and fun little builds and cheap. <laughs> Here we go. We are making There we go. We're making a crab. We are making a crab with posable ball jointed claws that is going to go right on the front, right above the door of our crab restaurant. There we go. A giant crab welcoming restaurant goers in. Now let's see here. I need two of these posts to go over the windows here, probably for some sort of awning or something. Oh, here we go. Two, three, four, five, and ten of those golden We are building little fences with golden accents. Um, these are actually plugging in upside down here. So two on this side, and three on the other side. Two. Three. Four. five a little railing on the sidewalk there to prevent Ninjago City citizens from tumbling off the second floor or the second uh, 
story walkway of the the Ninjago City. Let's see here. And let's see here. One on kind of a slant for the corner here. There we go. Ooh. And here's where we make the lanterns. We need 10 of these guys. It's just a minifigure head, the little gold disc, and a little kind of clipped wrench. One, two. Four, five, halfway there, six, seven. Finally, ten. Now, let's see, where do these get hung? Uh, two up here. Two on the other side. the sides of the railings. go. See the lantern, lantern, lanterns hanging off the side down here and up here. Oh, now busting out that surfboard. Just goes. There we go. That just becomes decor for the fence. Looks like we're going to be doing that quite a bit here. Ugh, again with stickers. Okay. Okay, what do you have in the 
orange one and this kind of baby blue uh, orange one. Sticker number six. Let's see here. Okay. And this blue one is sticker number seven. Uh, the first sticker said RR on it. This sticker says Trilobite. These are probably both either Lego references that I'm not getting or uh, Ninjago references that I'm not getting because I have not seen the Ninjago TV series or anything, so I don't know the fiction uh, surrounding this particular show or this particular uh, line of toys. So, a couple, what I, like I said, I'm assuming these are references that are just being lost on me. But there we go. There we go. Uh, let's see here. like that centerpiece is meant to be put on last oops put the wrong clip on there we go There we go. More, uh, more stickers. Always more stickers. What do we have here? Sticker number 24.
There we go. There we go. And of course, two more stickers. Last thing I need to be doing at uh, whatever time it is right now is stickers. Sticker number four. It says All City. That goes on the blue one. Here we go. And this green one there, I knew I had put a green one on. Oh, and this is sticker number five, which has an X logo on it. I've seen this X logo before, I believe. I think this might be, there was a line of like extreme sports Lego sets, probably from the 90s. That I believe used this logo. There we go. Whew. There we go. Oh, any more? Probably at least two more stickers in this batch. Yep. Ooh, looks like one, two, three more stickers in this batch. Okay. We got green. We got orange. Green one is sticker number two. Ugh. You can hear in my voice just how weary I am getting of these stickers. This one says Dragon Power. some specific Ninjago thing or not, but it is now since it's plastered in Ninjago City. one is sticker number three which says something in the Ninjago language the Ninjago alphabet which looks like kind of a fake Japanese alphabet and there are Translation guides, there's probably one in one of the 
in the instruction manual that tells you how to read the Ninjago language, but I am too lazy to look that up myself. Okay. So there we go. Uh, let's do this final sign here on the baby blue. This is number 35. Another of the Ninjago alphabet signs. There we go. This and this, and that. Let's hope that I'm done with stickers for today. Ooh, a couple, three of these boomerang pieces here. I have not used those pieces before. I'm assuming they've been around at least, uh, I know there's a Captain Boomerang uh, figure in the Lego DC sets. So I'm assuming that these were included with him. But uh, I've never I've never used them before. But now they've been used to make this snazzy little sign which clips right onto the fence. Here. Instead of another blasted sticker. Okay. Ooh, now we're making the little fence decor for our corner piece here. What do we need? That's two of these brown flower pieces, one of these little pegs, this, two of those, one, two of these, one of those, oh, that hat from earlier, oh, and our two jetpacks. So let's see here. Okay. There's that. And hmm. we have put the together the two jetpacks on the side, and then we attach the hat thusly, and there we go. And that just fits on
here. Like that. There you go. You can see the little decorated fences that we have created. Again, we'll get a nicer, less, uh, light diffused look at those once we're done. And now it looks like we're making a another grated platform. We had one of these on the first story. Let's see here. I'm gonna turn and get these stickers out of the way. And there we go. Almost done, which is good because I am tired and I have to go to work in the morning. Yeah. There we go. And we're building, oh, is this the actual, this might be the actual elevator lift section, maybe. We will, we will find out. Need that. One, two, three, four of those. I think this is our, is this our last step? It's just about our last step. Um, one of those, one of those, and this big red gear. Okay. So, ethnic bars go in there. There we go. Okay, made this rather uh, not terribly complicated looking, but a little uh, Technic gear device, which plugs into the, here's our little lift platform. I believe this is the lift platform, and this just plugs into the back of there, thusly. Move these extra pieces out of the way. Here's our elevator shaft. And they just want us to put this. Oh. There we go. That gears up and down.
Is that that? That appears to be that. Okay. Well, let's, uh, well, first, let me get my baggie for extra parts. Put all those in here. There we go. And let's see here. Let me grab this and switch the viewpoint and let's take a look. Well, actually, first, before we do that, I can show you the couple of little preliminary drawings they have in the book. Let's get a sneak preview of what we're building next time. Oh, we're going to be using that new, I think it's a new, clear curved piece. And we're going to be making, looks like a store. Looks like a skate shop, maybe? I don't know. It looks like a half pipe in there. I am going to place my remaining stickers in here just to mark my page. And let's get the city over here and take a peek at what we got. So there you can see there's our little kid hanging out outside the outside outside the comic shop. Take a peek into the comic shop. You can see there's the top shelf goodies. There's our Believe poster, the little pipe system that we've built, the exhaust fan there. Let's go back around here. Uh, let's see, we got lanterns and fences with some ads hanging on them. Let's rotate here. Here's the main center piece. We can go around here to the side, check out the rest of the fences and lanterns and ads, including that snazzy target piece made out of boomerangs. Uh, up here we have the little Lego uh, lanterns hanging from the window of the crab restaurant. I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of pretty awning or something there. And there is our crab. He's a little bit adjustable there, up and down, and he's got the ball-jointed claws there if you want to pose him however you want. But there he is. And now let's sneak around to the back. And here is our elevator. Well, there's the new little elevator walkway that we put in. And there's our elevator so far. Rides the gears up and down. Um, you'll recall the first floor has the elevator shaft continuing, so it'll be able to go all the way down there. Now, I'm assuming... I don't know if there's going to be some sort of mechanism that allows you to turn a crank or something in order to make this lift go up and down. But as of right now, we just have to do it manually. So, will there be more? Who is to say? But right now, there is Lego Ninjago City coming along quite nicely. The wealthy dude's still hanging out by the ATM. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I am Phil. As I said, uh, you can find me at the Player One Podcast, where we talk about video games, or at the Points of Articulation Podcast, where my friend Justin and I discuss toys, 
as I said, usually Transformers and Lego. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you for our, our next part of the build. Bye-bye.